that we see from this hill here to the hillsides over there where the hiking trails are at, it was all owned by lumber companies. They've been clear cutting it, chopping down all the trees, selling it off. George Prather bought this land because he wanted to build a family home in the flat area, which is where the gift store is at today. But when him and a group of surveyors came out to mark property lines, they discovered the mystery spot. They noticed a few unusual things. First thing that they noticed weird, as they were walking up this hill, it felt more difficult to walk up than any of them imagined. And I know some of you might be thinking, Mo, walking uphill is always hard. Yeah. <laughs> and believe me, the older you get, the harder it becomes. But to these surveyors, it was like a force was pushing back against them. Second thing, compasses gave funny readings. Sometimes it's like two to three degrees off. Other times, other locations, 180 degrees off. So south would appear to be north. North would appear to be... Yes, interactive too much, trying to get everybody warmed up. Third thing, they realized that the weirdness did not happen all over George Prather's new property, but only over here in a small zone. That's why we call it the mystery spot. From where we're all at, it's about 150 foot across, or 50 meters for my Swiss, with the Swiss. It goes up this hill behind the cabin, comes back down this hill. It basically splits these trees right down the center, and then it continues back up. They mark the boundaries with these blocks, so that means everybody on this side of the blocks, you guys are already in the mystery spot. Woohoo! Woo! You don't seem very excited, but that's okay. <laughs> Over here, outside the block, still in the land of normal, looking a little bored. I promise I'm going to do everything I can to change your board expression, but you can remember something too, my friend. Any of the parking fees that we collect are not refundable. <laughs> then, on the border, neither in nor out, the young lady with a confused look on her face. There. I don't know you well enough to know if the confused look is your normal expression or if it's caused from stand on boundaries. It's normal? She said it. Now, when you enter the mystery spot, things will happen. Some might notice, some might not. This is going to be very slight. Outside the mystery spot, I stand tall and straight. I'll enter the mystery spot. Not only do I get better looking, I develop a slight two to three degree lead. And you're looking like you didn't notice. If you didn't notice, don't worry, I'm going to point out the trees, okay? okay? This one outside the blocks, tall, straight like a redwood should. This large one develops that slight two to three degree tilt to it. And then like my friend on the border showing signs of confusion, I also have this little one neither in nor out showing signs of confusion as it goes up, out, and back up again. Nice. That poor little one doesn't know what it wants to be when it gets bigger. <laughs> uh, kinda like me, that's why I'm still a tour guide at the mystery. <laughs> that's not one of the jokes, that's my life. Right so make sure you ladies get good grades. Now, when they laid in these blocks 70 years ago, the blocks were flat and level, but as our trees would grow and their root systems would push out, it knocked those cement blocks off kilter. You guys just drove up the bouncy road. You probably already realized that the mystery spot does not like to invest a lot of money in anything. <laughs> 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 Stay with the chair.